hammer throw. These incredible athletes catapult a 16-pound metal ball distances of up to 280 feet. In this sport, every centimeter counts. That's why throwers try to optimize their performance by shaving all the hair off their hammers before every competition. But does shaving a hammer actually make it more aerodynamic? To find out, we brought former Olympic hammer thrower Lucas Kohler into the sportology lab. First, Lucas showed us how the pros get a smooth, close shave on their hammers. Instead of using expensive electric shavers, most hammer throwers opt for a simple four-blade razor. It's important to always shave with the grain in order to prevent cuts, razor bumps, and ingrown hairs. Even a tiny nick could give the hammer a bad rash. A little splash of aftershave also helps soothe and moisturize the hammer. Now let's see if that shave actually helps the hammer fly faster through the air. We're having Lucas throw hammers with varying lengths of hair, each outfitted with custom accelerometers. First up, a freshly shaved hammer. Because the hammer is completely bald, air is allowed to flow tightly over its surface with very little resistance. Lucas's first throw reaches a distance of over 276 feet. Now let's compare that to a hammer with a bit of peach fuzz. Unlike the bald hammer, this hammer's stubble impedes airflow, causing it to decelerate in midair at a 7% higher rate. Its final distance is 3.1 inches shorter than the shaved hammer, which just goes to show that even a 5 o'clock shadow can mean the difference between gold and silver. Full hammer shaving didn't become a common practice until relatively recently, but the longer the hair, the slower the hammer's maximum velocity. When air flows over a hammer with long hair, it reacts differently depending on the hair texture. Hammers with thick and curly hair have a drag rate up to 60% greater than thin and straight hair. Even hammers with naturally frizzy hair are almost twice as aerodynamic once they are washed with shampoo and conditioner. Longer hair also creates a knuckling effect, altering the hammer's flight path in mid-air. This can be minimized by tying the hair in a bun or ponytail or by slicking it back with styling gel. When it comes to different methods of hair removal, every hammer thrower has their own personal preference. But whether a hammer is shaved, freshly waxed, or undergoes laser hair removal, it is equally aerodynamic. For The Onion Sportology, I'm Adam Fletcher. Next time on Sportology, a world champion Taekwondo master beats the shit out of his dad.